So we're here at Adventure X. Hello, dear community. Um, nice to see you again, Dave. How is it going with your current adventure game, Anawald? Uh, it's still going. Um, I am uh, I've designed up to the final act, so I've got one more section to go. It's a big one, but it's um, pretty. It's it's a big one, but it's more straightforward. So I'm hoping to get it done in the next month or two, and then do all the standard polishing and voice recording and uh, get it out sometime next year. I still don't want to say when, but um, 2018 definitely. What is really left to do in the game? There's a lot of polish left to do. There's a lot of like um, uh, kind of bits that I've kind of left very rough and in placeholder form just to kind of move on and get to the next section and get it in the game and get it tested. Um, of course, there's all the, all the voiceover. None of that is in, uh, in the entire last section of the game. And there, uh, the bug list, of course, just keeps getting bigger every time I play through it. Uh, that happens with any game. So there's, there's still a lot left to do, a lot of the, the little things that um, need to get done uh, so it can be a, a polished experience for you to play. How many people are working on it? Is it just you or...? Uh, well, for the most part, it's just me. My wife has, uh, in the last week or two since um, she finished her last porting gig, she ported uh, Techno Babylon recently um, to iOS. But since that's done, she's now helping me out, uh, mostly on, on uh, little detail-oriented things, because she's more of a, a programmer than I am. She's uh, adding little functionalities that weren't there before, like uh, like hotspot detection, like. Uh, illuminating all the different hotspots on the screen, that kind of thing. That's something we've never done on a PC release, but we're doing it now because she's helping me out, so I can we can add the little things like that. So um, it's me, my wife, and of course uh, the uh, full-time artist Ben Chandler and uh, the composer Tom Reagan. He's also working on it. So I guess four people altogether. And uh, as we're talking about people, uh, we heard that Francisco Gonzalez left Watch It Eye. Um, did it have financial reasons or was it just a uh, creative re reason? Um, it was a uh, bit of column A, a bit of column B. Um, I mean, the best way to describe it is that uh, point and click adventure games are a very niche thing. And uh, Shardlight was very much a contracting job. I paid him a salary to make that game. And it came out and I had to look at everything and see if it was worthwhile to keep another full time employee on board. Um, and Sadly, just the way my life is now, you know, we have a child, we have uh, a lot of expenses. I just couldn't justify the expense. Um, so he soldered off on his own and he's doing Lamplight City on his own and um, it's working out well for him. I felt really bad. I couldn't, I couldn't make it work because I did like working with him. But, um, you know, uh, financial, the financial issues just made the decision easy. Well, not easy, but... There was only one choice to make. As you're living in New York and it's quite yeah. inexpensive. <laughs> well, you know, we, uh, I always joke that we're self-employed and can live anywhere. So naturally, we chose to live in one of the most expensive cities in the country. <laughs> but we love it. My whole family's there. All our friends are there. We have roots there. So we're sticking it out. Uh, so we love New York. And that's why all my games take place there, because I love it. Um, you're sometimes using platforms like Twitch. Uh, was that helpful for you, or would you even recommend it for other indie game? Uh, I am. I mean, this is a very old man of me, but I don't understand Twitch. <laughs> I understand that it's popular and the appealing to Twitch streamers is a good way to get your game sold and to get the word out. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> um, I find it fun, like doing uh, doing dev streams of my own stuff, or watching dev streams of others. I find that kind of interesting because you're kind of peeking behind the curtain. You're seeing how things are made. I, I find that uh, interesting. Uh, whether it's had whether it's had any effect on my bottom line or not, it's hard to say. But. I enjoy doing the dev streams, people enjoy watching them, so I will continue to do them. And it's just another, it's another way to get the word out. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it works. I'm not out to be like a popular Twitch streamer guy because I'm too busy working on the actual games. Um, but it's fun, so I do it.
there's really not much else to it. So what's in the future, um, except an award, of course. But do you already have any plans or anything you have in your head? There's uh, probably going to get back into publishing after this is over. There's a um, a developer. I can't. There's a game I'm about to sign up. I probably shouldn't talk about it now. Although one clue, he is here at Adventure X, um, and my wife is writing a game. She's never actually. She's done a lot of D and D campaigns. Uh, she's always wanted to write a game, and so she's working on this like Cthulhu esque mystery kind of thing, uh, which is is a lot of fun. Um, but that's happening very slowly because she's working on other stuff as well. Um, and after that, also Ben Chandler was writing a game. The uh, our full time artist. He's he's also wanted to try writing a game too. So it'll be kind of this reversal where. He is gonna um, rather me working on a game, and he helps with the art. He's gonna make a game, and I'm gonna help him with the writing. So that'll be fun and a different way of doing things. So that's gonna; those are our. That's what's on the horizon, but nothing really concrete or anything signed in terms of contracts or anything like that. But that's kind of what's on the horizon now. So, and any last words? Do you have anything to add for our community? Ah. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I, as always, I always like to say thank you for supporting us and being fans and keeping us going. Um, I love doing this, and I hope to keep doing it. Uh, I can't believe it's been 11 years. I really hope there could be 11 more. So thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for the interview. <laughs>